Welcome back to the course on Analyzing Signal Processing for Music Applications. In the previous uh, demonstration class, uh, we talked about the harmonic plus residual uh, model. We actually analyze a sound uh, with uh, the model, with the SMS tools, and we were able to identify the harmonics, subtract them from the original sound, and obtain a residual, which uh, then uh, we combine with the, with the harmonics uh, to obtain the original signal. In this, uh, in this demonstration class, uh, we want to go a little bit beyond that by approximating the residual with the stochastic model. And in the case that the residual is close to a stochastic signal, then uh, this will be a good representation, the harmonic plus the stochastic component to uh, represent uh, a sound. So let's start and uh, let's uh, open the, the GUI of SMS tools and we will start with uh, the sound of uh, the flute sound. Okay, so let's uh, listen to this uh, flute sound. Okay, so it's a, it's a very stable note, uh, quite uh, clearly the defined the pitch, in fact is a is an A4. Uh, and it clearly has some breathing quality that uh, will be relevant uh, for this idea of the stochastic component. In order to uh, decide what window size, uh, well again let's, uh, let's use the Blackman window since it's a stable sound, Blackman will be a, a good choice for uh, being able to get uh, low the, the side lobes and uh, getting a, a good uh, kind of a signal to noise ratio in terms of the, of the window. Uh, so in order to compute what is the best window size, so we'll have to just do 6, uh, which is the, the number of beans of the Blackman window, times the sampling rate, 44,100, uh, uh, divided by the uh, fundamental frequency of uh, this sound. And this is an A4, so it's uh, 440 hertz. Okay. So 601 would be uh, an, a good window to use. Given that we really want to get a good uh, resolution of the harmonics and try to minimize the, the rest of the components, and it's quite stable, we can afford to take a, a longer window maybe. So let's take 801 samples. The FFT size, again, let's, uh, we, we can take a, a bigger uh, FFT uh, so that we get a smoother spectrum, so 2048. Okay, and well, let's analyze just in the middle of the sound. Uh, this is a quite uh, long sound, so let's do it like that. Okay, uh, so this is the, the samples of, uh, of the input signal um, and the spectrum. We uh, see quite well the, the low frequency harmonics and um, similar to the uh, organ sound that uh, we analyzed uh, before, yeah, in the high frequency areas, uh, there is quite a bit of kind of uh, uh, unstable or uh, kind of uh, very uh, stochastic type of uh, components that uh, are not uh, so clearly defined as uh, partials. So they may be, uh, there might be some uh, harmonics or partials, but they are kind of uh, masked and are difficult to identify here. Anyway, so okay. So uh, now let's just go directly to the harmonic model and uh, let's uh, uh, apply the same parameters. So 101, 2048. Now we have to choose the parameters for, uh, for the peak detection and the harmonic detection. Uh, I don't think we need to go very much down in the spectrum for the harmonics because as we saw, there is not that many. In terms of the duration of the harmonics, uh, I think it's good to, to make sure that they are long is a stable note, so we might uh, want to put like 0.2 in terms of the minimum duration. In terms of uh, number of harmonics, uh, there are clearly not that many, so I'm sure with, uh, with 40 should be plenty. And uh, we have to set the minimum and maximum fundamental so that 440 fits here, so I'm sure if we put 300 and 500 uh, should be plenty and the error for the pitch detection well let's take the default uh, 7 and the deviation let's start with this value see what happens oh, and of course we need to get the uh, flute sound okay now we can compute it 
Okay, um, so clearly uh, we got uh, quite a few harmonics and uh, some here that appear and disappear. Of course, uh, we, we have to realize that uh, here we are just plotting the first 5000 Hertz. If we want to see more uh, and what's going on in the higher uh, frequencies, we should uh, display it a little bit differently. Okay, so let's just uh, listen to the result. Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's uh, a quite uh, accurate rendition of that. Of course, it's, it's different from the original one. In fact, if we hear back the original, yeah, the original has a more brighter uh, type of, uh, of quality, and uh, this is because it has all these other components. Of course, we can play around with these parameters, for example, to allow for uh, more harmonics to appear. So, for example, if we allow, if, let's say, put point 0.1 here, and we compute it again, yeah, now we are allowing these uh, higher harmonics, which are very unstable, to appear uh, sort of uh, more, uh, but of course um, all these uh, jumps uh, are not really that good. So that means that uh, these harmonics are not really uh, stable, so they are really buried into the, the, the kind of the, the noise or the, this uh, breath uh, that uh, we also hear. Okay, now uh, we can go ahead and uh, use the harmonic plus residual uh, model so we can uh, listen to the residual and let's uh, again use the same uh, parameters uh, the flute sound uh, let's put 800 let's put uh, 248 and in terms of the threshold minus 80 the minimum duration let's just put 0.2 number of harmonics uh, yeah we don't need that many and uh, well this will be okay 350 700 and uh, this i think uh, seven was all right and, and yeah let's make it uh, not as as open in terms of the deviation as uh, as before let's just put maybe 0 0.02 see what happens okay so here we see the original uh, and the harmonics and uh, maybe we see a few more than before and uh, uh, synthesize. So let's listen to the residual. Okay, that's a pretty nice residual. Very. We hear the attack, and the attack, in fact, uh, there is this uh, uh, red thing here that during the attack uh, it's clear uh, louder this uh, breath, and then uh, it just. Uh, uh, sort of gets attenuated and we hear a very clear uh, breath noise uh, throughout. Okay, so now, uh, so this is very much uh, an stochastic signal, let's say, it's, it's very noisy, so that means that uh, we can uh, apply the stochastic analysis to that. So now let's use uh, the harmonic plus stochastic model and uh, let's uh, get the same type of parameters. Of course we can play around these parameters to to get better values, uh, but uh, I, the ones we chose, uh, they uh, looked okay. So let's uh, again, let's put 0.2 here, let's get the number of harmonics, yeah I think uh, 40 harmonics, and this was alright, uh, this was 7, and this was 0.02. Okay, now we, uh, the, the parameter that is specific for the stochastic analysis is the stochastic approximation factor and here by default is uh, 0.1 so it means that it uh, reduces the whole spectrum by 90% so it's only, uh, it, it will quantize uh, kind of the, the resolution to uh, one tenth of uh, what it originally was. So let's, uh, let's just try this. Okay, so Clearly now we see, uh, well, we see differently because in this one we are uh, showing uh, the range from 0 to 14,000 Hertz. So in fact we're seeing quite a bit more, so we see more of the stochastic component. Um, but uh, as we see the harmonics are very much on the lower side, uh, above 5,000 Hertz there is not that much, there is uh, some of these but maybe these even these lines should not be considered harmonics and uh, 
maybe sh they should be discarded. But let's listen to the, the stochastic component. Okay. Of course, we have lost uh, like a little bit of the of the details that uh, the residual had, but it definitely keeps this breathy noise. Of course, it's, it's not that loud. So when we if we put it together with the original signal, uh, with the harmonics, uh, okay. So it sounds good, but clearly the the harmonics are taking over and they are kind of uh, masking quite a bit uh, this uh, stochastic component. We have to listen to it uh, quite carefully if uh, we want to be able to distinguish uh, this, uh, the stochastic component of this uh, type of sounds. And that's uh, basically all I wanted to uh, say. Um, let's uh, go back. Uh, so we have uh, talked about the harmonic uh, plus um, a stochastic model and, and we have used the SMS tools, um, uh, the interface that has allowed us to play around with uh, this model. And of course the sound, that uh, this flute sound is in, uh, in free sound. So hopefully uh, that has given you uh, a view of the potential of the harmonic plus stochastic model. It's a little bit different from the harmonic plus residual, but the main difference is that now with the stochastic uh, representation of the residual, we will be able to do quite a bit uh, of things. Uh, next week, in fact, we're going to do, be doing uh, transformations uh, to these sounds, and the stochastic representation will allow us to, to do that, whether uh, in, in, in the residual uh, would not uh, be able to give us that flexibility. So anyway, so that's uh, all for uh, this uh, demonstration class, and uh, I hope to see you next uh, lecture. Thank you very much.